This is Weird Wolf, Drawn Land, uh, with TFYLP. Sorry uh, we can't have a live episode uh, this evening. However, uh, we hope you enjoy this classic episode of TFYLP. We've been having some staffing issues with convention season in full swing or, or winding up. Um, so uh, we should be able to return live next week. Uh, I believe I have a special guest lined up, uh, Mr. Benson Yee from BWTF.com. Hope you all turn in then, and hope you see. Uh, hope to see you then. Uh, enjoy this episode of Classic TFYLP. Hello, everybody, and welcome to TFYLP episode 54. Uh, after a long hiatus, we are finally back. A uh, little backstory for those not in the know: uh, our very own Weird Wolf, the guy who usually hosts, uh, had had some lot of stuff going on lately. He'd, uh, you know. Lost a job, moved, got a new job, and then had a very serious accident. Uh, he drove a tractor trailer for a company and was in a really bad wreck. Truck burned completely up, and so he's uh, got some injuries. So he's just, you know, hasn't been available to do the podcast for a while due to all that stuff. And now it's going to be a, quite a while longer before he's ready to do it again because now he's recuperating from his injuries. Uh, he is alive though; he is okay. It was just like a broken arm and a bunch of scratches and bruises. Um. So anyway, we are back though. I'm going to be hosting. We'll try to get back on our somewhat regular schedule, at least every two weeks, if not every week. Uh, so anyway, this week uh, we are, I'm joined with I'm Insane Galvatron. I'm joined with uh, Knots May. Hello, everybody. Guard Convoy. Hello. And Mirai Baby. Hi. So how has everybody been in the last month and a half since we've been on the air? Has it only been a month and a half? Well, it's been like seven weeks. Okay. Closer to two months then. Yeah. Um, I've been good for the most part. Like the person just working and carrying on? Pretty much, sadly. I'd like some change. Sadly. I'd like some change. I don't know about you guys. All I do is work, literally. Almost, two months, in, almost two months in a row without a day off. That was fun. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, he did that back before IkiCon too, so back like December. Yeah, so it hasn't been too long since he did that again. Well, Amber, I think you've had the biggest change since the last time I heard. You were still in Texas before, right? I have, yeah. I've had the biggest change since I've been here last. Um, recently, I actually moved back to California. So um, stuff that was happening Which out in Texas didn't really work out California, so well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Stuff that worked out in California, it just it didn't work out too well for me, so I moved back home. Unfortunately, I'm back with my parents, but, you know, I don't mind it too much. I'm back where I absolutely love to be, so, and all Yay. honesty, I'm not that heartbroken over it, <laughs> especially considering where I was, I mean, I was out in El Paso, so, yeah, not same necessarily. Reason. Same reason I've, why I never want to leave Kentucky. This is home. Well, I, like, I I've feel heard... the same way about California. Yeah, well, but I've heard, like, a lot of people say that once you start out in San Diego, it's really hard to go other places. Because, I mean, I have everything right here. like Including the really nice weather. Including the super nice weather, yeah. And it's, you don't, it, you don't it have snow. It doesn't... Oh, that's okay. I don't like snow. <laughs> I do not like being cold. All right. Anybody yeah, that's else? that's my biggest change. Anybody else have any big news they want to share before we get into the Transformer news? Not really. Just work a lot. All I do is just working a lot. All right. Or should we start with the uh, Out My Wallet? I know we traditionally did that first. It just feels strange to me to do the Out My Wallet first. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'd say I we just go ahead and do Out My good. Wallet as well. Okay. Well, who would like to start? Me. I have toys. Yeah, you have toys. I have toys. I have actually like four, I think, since the last time I've been on. Is this like a record been, for you? Because it's been so long. Well, maybe not since like the very beginning I might have had toys. But this is probably, aside from when John gave me all those movie figures, probably a record for me. <laughs> um, two of them I got because there was a sale at Target and then there were also coupons. So I got them for actually like maybe eight bucks a piece, I guess. Um, Generations... No, 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 not the Generations figures. Those, those came later. Um, I got Smokescreen and Ripclaw, which Ripclaw is a 
fabulous figure. She's uh, this is neither her robot mode or her her dragon mode. This is like an anthropodal half and half mode, which I really like. It's an like. in between mode. Yeah, it's an in between mode, and it's friggin' fantastic. I just keep her standing like that on my desk. Um, and I have smoke screen, and he's all right. Um, I don't know. He's I'm all right. That's more... he's got a fun transformation, but he's 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 got that hollow thing going on where his chest is like just like this panel of the chest. That's it, and he's got some wheels in there. The transformation yeah. okay, and the paint apps are pretty bad. I liked him more than I thought I would. I picked him up on a whim. I was bored when I was out. Joints are good. He's got a bunch of kibble on his arms, so he's. And I, I love the fact that you can just take these off and that they're just soft rubber, this and his gun. And I really actually like playing with the little net thing. I just sit there and play with the rubber. Squeeze it, tweak it. Tweak it. Just I sit there and like stress ball it, right? Mm-hmm. I got and then to her... play with the... Go ahead. I got to play with Ripclaw. One of my friends has it. And one of my favorite things about her is the tail. The tail section, that really interested me because it's not a bunch of hard plastic joints. There's there's rubber that runs right through that, and so it's completely flexible. That was one of my favorite things. It's it is. It is a really cool feature about her. I can take the gun off the bottom of the tail. So it's basically, there's a rubber, um, uh, like, just holy rubber tube that goes through each of these joints in her tail. So it's completely posable, aside from the fact that it's not going to stay in most of the poses you put it in, but you just pop off this golden piece on top. And it loosens, it gives enough slack in between the things. You can put them, you can twist them around and use it to support her or, you know, wrap it around something and, you know, hold it there or whatever. And it's just, it's so much fun. I normally leave it in the, the tightened form, which is just like that. And, and you can see how it just sort of popped up. Yeah. It just pops up like that. It's really you know, cool. I, when I saw that toy in stores and looked at it, I always thought it just, I didn't look that closely. I just thought it had like a ball jointed tail. I did too. I, I looked at it. I was like, dude, that tail looks stiff as all get out. I was oh, like, yeah, That's I, thought I, I thought as soon as some child gets a hold of that, they're going to break it. Mm -hmm. That was my immediate thought. And then playing with my friends, we just kind of we grabbed her by the body and was just like shaking her, and the tail was just flopping around. It was funny. <laughs> but I was like, that was one of my favorite things about that toy is that she's got that rubber head, which makes sense because when little kids get a hold of it, yeah. they're not going to break it. Yeah, she's and her the whole her. top of her skull is all soft rubber, so you can squeeze her jaw and her her little ears and things. And I hope it's a good durable rubber that holds up over time. Doesn't like getting a toy off the shelf ten years from now and have dry rotted rubber and it just falls oh. apart. In your hand. Oh yeah, that's not good. Although my Transmetal Two Megatron, the dragon, has rubber on him, and the last time I handled him, just I checked, think I checked him out maybe a couple weeks ago, he was still fine, and that toy's what? When that come out? Card combo, you're the Beast Wars expert. When was Transmetal 2 Megatron? Uh, 1998. Okay, so that toy's uh, 15 years old? Yeah, and it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I could I could really gush about her. I wasn't sure about her when I got out of the pack string. I really love dragons. And there's just, uh, compared to Smokestream, there's a lot of things I really love about her. Like, even the gun on her tail... When I first started fiddling with it, and I was like, you know, it, it doesn't look... You know it's got something in it. You can sort of pop it open, and it sort of hmm. stays there. And then I was like, well, how do you close it? And I was sitting there playing with it, and I was like, no way. You have to actually push the nub in the middle, and it just closes. Uh -huh. So you, like, stick something in it, and it automatically just clasps on it. And I, I love sitting there actually playing with it. and The auto-grab feature. Yeah. I actually really like that. I, was, I wasn't sure about it at the beginning, but I really like that. And then... Even though she has a fairly simplistic transformation, the friggin' knee, it just, it amazes me how she goes from this, you just flip this thing up, and it's friggin' like a chicken leg, right? And that's it. And it's just, it's amazing, and it's simple, and it looks so clean after you transform it. I love it so much. So I guess that's a robot mode transformation there on the legs you have. Yeah, that's the robot mode. Flip it up she has the just dragon. the one joint. And it's just, it's, it's so clean. I love it so much. And it looks good in both modes. My only complaint about her is actually her hands in her dragon mode, which is they only have a little bit of motion. Let me go ahead and hold it up there. They go down that far, and then they go up like that. And her robot claw, or her dragon claw is actually like that. You just flip it over, and her hand sits underneath like that. And mm. there's really no good pose for it. It can do like that. 
she has a heel or whatever, but there's no way, from the front it looks ugly, you can see the thumb and the fingers, and that's one of the reasons why I keep her in this half and half mode, is because I think she actually looks best in this mode, and it's just like, oh, the best of both worlds, so that's one of the reasons why I do that. Oh, I guess, I guess another thing I didn't think about, I don't really like, is the fact that her head can't really move, because it's got that huge collar around it, I just don't like the head design overall, one of the reasons why I keep it hidden, yay! So maybe one of the best things about this figure is that you can transform it a couple different ways until, until you like it. Versatile. I mean, yeah. She's got so plenty I take of it that's your, I take it that's your favorite of the four you got? Um, you gushed over it the most? Probably. Probably. So I haven't even gotten onto the other two, which I bought actually within the past week, and it was actually on the way to a birthday party with John, and he got toys at the same time as I did. He'll get to that. I got um, Generations figures, the first ones I actually got since probably John got me the first War for Cybertron Optimus, I think, because I don't think I had any of the newer ones, because they, since they got smaller, I actually got Air Raid and Sideswipe, which I wanted all the repaints because I didn't like the originals that much, and uh, I got Sideswipe mostly for the fact that he has a giant gun. Um, a lot of people said it looks awesome on everything, and it, it, it makes everything 20% cooler. Um, Sideswipe <laughs> Side is a pretty cool figure. I just I don't like the big bulky chest, which is the same problem I had with Jazz. It's just the transformation is all right, and it's pretty cool how it holds up. And the car mode's good, but the robot mode, it's just it, the proportions about it. There's something just off about it, and it makes me meh. I look at him, I'm just like meh, meh. Um, Air Raid, on the other hand, has tons of clear plastic, and I love him because of it. And I loved, I, I really loved the Shockwave mold because he was fun to play with. Because uh, John had him, and I got to play with him. Um, so I knew I was going to like him, but all the clear plastic, and I love the, the gold and red colors. And the fact that he comes with a translucent sword, and on his gun, let me pop it out of his body here real quick. Split his legs apart. Ouch. I have to say, transforming this guy is actually, it's fun because it, I actually forget how I transform every time, so it's a learning curve every time I do it. His gun, he's got a huge blade on it, and it's just like, you can split open the sword, and it's got like a scissors, it's like cut man, right? It's just sword. gushing about the clear plastic swords that are looking awesome. I wonder and it's why they've never really this. worked for real swords. Oh, Make yeah. scissors out of them. Do much more damage to somebody if you cut them with a pair of scissors. But yeah, I guess it turns the the the, the gun technically into like a a, a knife because it, it covers up the barrel. Um, you can also take this off. I know I did. This little gray plastic piece that you used to. Oh, there we go. So you can basically turn that into just a sword if you wanted to. You take the bottom off. But yeah, I was really really loving the silver on this red clear plastic. Looks fabulous. And the way the swords go together, there's actually an inter secting piece, where they sort of overlap in the middle there. And it just works really, really well. When you close it up, you can't tell that it does that. So, those are the four figures I got, and I really gushed about Ripplock, because I love her and Air Raid. And I love his, his spatial mo mode, and I haven't really played with him too much in robot mode. I've left him in spatial mo mode most of the time. I'll transform him now, while everybody else is talking. So that was what I got. That's and it, I built a lot things. of costumes. Yeah. So I built Lord Death from Soul Eater, and I'm in the process of building Tali from Mass Effect for somebody. Here's her leg in the process of being um, Mod Podge, so it's sort of shiny. Nice. Yep. Okay. Who would like to go next on the what? Uh, ask my wallet. Guard, do you want to go next? You're next on my screen. Sure, you know, this is going to be a while. Since nobody's, I, since nobody's volunteering, I'll just pick someone. Alright, I'll go, even though it's been longer for me being on since y'all have, because I missed the last couple ones when y'all did. Eh, get your list out of the way first, right? <laughs> well, Transformer-wise, the big ones I got, I got, let's start off with one of the bigger ones. I got Masterpiece Soundwave, which oh, is man. an utterly glorious toy. Mine is still waiting I can in a attest pile of to that. <laughs> Seriously, this mold is fantastic. And after the hell I went to getting one. Oh, I saw that on 
Facebook or something, you're yeah. going the best, to... The one thing I want to say is never order from TS Tours. They're a bunch of jerks. But, yeah, Soundwave is good. Yeah, really our good. friends at CapturedPrey.com. Much better. Good. Much yes. better. Much better. <laughs> but Soundwave, his articulation is fantastic. His gimmicks are great. Just overall, it's a gorgeous figure. Its transformation, even though it's turning into a box, is very simple and neat. And it's just efficient. I also got the cassette packs. I've got Rumble. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to adjust the colors Rumble. on the monitor. That looked like frenzy Rumble. to me. <laughs> Rumble. Don't start this. I'll have the argument. And Ravage. Then I've got get the chin box out of the box. And I got. Come on. Buzzsaw and Frenzy. Oh, wait, the colors are off again. That, that looked like that looked like Rumble to me. I, will kick your I don't know what you're doing wrong with your computer, man. You maybe you need to fix your monitor. It's like story the Bible, the G1 story Bible for the show says Rumble is red. Quit being yeah, wrong. But, but I watched the actual show. Rumble. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> well, Frenzy anyway. reminds me of a red color. And Rumble. Uh, uh, Rumble sounds red blue. Color. Frenzy sounds red. To get off the topic of the cassettes, which are neat figures, and they make great accessories for Soundwave, I also got Masterpiece Lambor, which is a marvel of engineering. Love that toy. Fantastic toy. Glad I, I got it when it first came out. He's yes. expensive now. Yeah, I got him. He cost me about 90 bucks, I think, which I'm fine paying that. For 76. And then, I got him for 76 at CaptureBray.com before they sold out. Yeah, I tried to get it before it sold out, but it didn't. So, I had to go through Big Bad, I believe. And then, I still need to get Red Alert. That's the Red Alert and Starscream and Grimlock are the three masterpieces I'm missing. I still need the Starscream. I don't have one of those yet. I've got Thundercracker. I don't got Starscream. Same here. And, yeah, that's a fantastic toy. The alt mode is gorgeous. The transformation's great. There's even a transformation step I didn't learn the figure had until months after having it. You I think it's the, the same one. The leg thing? Yeah. yeah, the leg thing. Yeah, nobody ever gets that right away. Except then, I had heard other people talk about it, so I got it. Yeah, I only learned it recently. And to keep moving down with Masterpieces, because I didn't get to talk about this the last time I was on, I got the Hasbro Masterpiece 10 Optimus Prime, which is also a fantastic mold. And yeah, they're really knocking them out of the park with these new masterpieces. Yeah, ever Rodimus since they, is really the only dud. Well, I, 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 uh, Rodimus is my first Takara when I, even though I, I still love that figure, but it has its problems. Scared to death to break it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's engineering was ambitious and really good engineering. It's just, it's plastic tolerance is, is, is almost impossible to be perfect at a mass produced level. Because it's, yeah, the Takara one has... The Takara one has some leg panel issues that break really easy. The Hasbro one had those fixed, but they use questionable plastic for the joints. It's yeah, always like shoulders and knees break. that just let go. Yeah, but this Prime is good. Yeah, pretty much all the master. I'm all in for Masterpiece now. That's pretty much the one transform line I'm still collecting. I got pre-ordered all the Dodsons. I'm I'm all in. And Prime is just. Do you have Tiger? Do you have Tiger Tracks or Tiger Track? Uh, no. It's the yellow side swipe. I have oh, that. I'm waiting for Sunstreaker to happen. That's a guarantee because that was the first transforming car toy robot to car I did. Maybe. We've heard rumors that there are issues with the Lamborghini license. Uh, that was proven false. Oh, that was proven false? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sunstreaker will happen eventually. And I, was, I was thinking he should happen sooner rather than later because they currently have the Lamborghini license and they'll have to renew it if they release it. I, now. I think with the, with the Lamborghini license, it's it's technically a different car, so I think I have to do a separate get Still a new license. For that. Still the Coon Talk. Di different model, so that's a, still slightly different. Hmm. Well, to speak of other transformer related items I got, I've got the Kabaya big power sets. I've got the Die Atlas, the Sonic Bomber, and I can never remember the name of the third one, but it's the Red Dude. Yeah, I don't Which, know their name. may I add, he didn't know it came with gum. I, I was like, that's the whole point, is it's yeah, gum, and it comes candy. with toys. I knew it came with candy, because they're candy toys. But I thought it came with the same kind of, like, soda candy, little pills that the 
Bandai mini claw kids come with. But no, they come oh, with okay. They came See, with my gum. only experience with candy toys is Kabaya kits, so I'm used to nothing but gum. At and, this uh, point, just don't eat it. I did eat <laughs> it. You did. You did. <laughs> and then my friend Kirill had, was at Anime Monster. He ate two sticks of it because he's like, I love Japanese He's stuff. Asian. Yeah, I would yeah, chew the gum God. while I was building the model kits. That's what I do on Kabaya. Runs out of flavor really quickly. And then the speak of other Transformers I've gotten lately, we've talked about the masterpieces. Uh, I got War for Cybertron Soundwave and Blaster, which I would pick them up here, but they're stuck in a pile of toys. Like the rest of my room. But they're decent molds. I also got the cassettes for all of Soundwave. I still haven't found the Autobot cassettes yet, really. Anytime I find them, I don't buy them. So they're decent Badly. figures. And then re the most the recent is the best. I still need to get them. And when I at that birthday party, not somebody mentioned, I bought Beast Hunters Voyager Optimus Prime, which is a fun toy. It's light, but I just love the design. It just looks like he is Hunter Convoy to me, and he's going to butcher everything in his path. He's not Beast Hunter's Optimus Prime, he's Hunter Convoy. And he's then, movie Optimus Prime. He's put everything in his path. And then, a figure I thought I would never see, a figure I saw a year ago in person at BotCon, uh, Generations Kickback, which is a really cool mold. It doesn't feel light at all. It's a solid, badass little bug. It's got ankle tilts and everything. Just overall, it's probably the best generation figure of the well, fall Cybertron figures I've handled. And it's a shame he's one per case. It's almost impossible to find. I found him at a Walmart, and his bubble to the card had been come undone and been taken back. So yeah, we wasn't sure if he was all there or all proper, but I'm like, I don't care. I'm taking risk. I bought it, and I'm glad I did, because it's a fantastic figure. He's a lot of fun to play with. Now, I mean, he looks cool, but I, I really i am fond of Hard Shell, personally. Uh, he was there, too, and I I would buy them, but I can't bring myself to spend 10 bucks on that toy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I was questionable with it being a, you know, small as they are with these commanders, but I think this is one of the few that's worth the 10 bucks. And now I'm going to do a few off-topic things. Not everything off-topic, but a few of the standout figures that I just absolutely love. Just the say first one, all the Gundams. No, there's all the Gundams. There's <laughs> two Gundams I'm going to point out. He bought all the Gundams. All your oh, Gundams are belong to Guard. And then, since I cosplay as this robot, I had to have this toy, but the Super Robot Chigokin Gurren Lagan, which is an utterly fantastic mold. It's uh, pretty good. Like, it just this has giant kneecaps. Stand. They're not that bad. They are humongous. Look at that. They're not that bad. I see bigger ones on Transformers. But this yeah. is this is. I can tell they're out of proportion, and go. it bothers me to no end. Everything else is great about the figure. Well, the Gynex art style has had wacky proportions in the show, so it's show accurate. But I bet if it were a girl, find a picture from the show with the just way. giant kneecaps, and I will let that slide. <laughs> I can find one real quick. But yeah, it's a fantastic figure. I'm so glad to get. It. I still have to get the drill set of manliness for it, so I can put giant drills all over it. And then he needs to save up and buy the transforming one. There's no way I'm buying oh, that six hundred dollar Gurren log. God, the Studio Half Eye thing. That thing's six hundred dollars. And the size of that Grand Logan I showed you, it's a perfect transforming figure. It's Logon actually transforms into his little humanoid form, and you can transform put it back on there and, and change Gurren back fantastic. from both modes. And to mention a couple of the Gundam things, because I've been a huge Gundam kid. I got a whole DVD haul with G Gundam and then like Turn A Gundam, Charles Contact, and then one of my favorite series ever. The limited edition Zeta Gundam box set, which is worth 200 bucks. It's a monster. I paid about 140 for all these DVDs, so I got a really good deal thanks to my pal Dino over at Tokyo Nation. And I want to point out three Gundam models I built, and then I'll be done. The first one is my only Master Grade. It's the 
Wing Zero Custom from Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. I bought it at Anime Matsuri. It's a gorgeous kit. It's just massive. Put that one down. Isn't that in one of the videos? We're in the room. I think you were just sitting on the bed admiring the box. He spent I, a good portion of that convention just staring at the box. I did. It's, this is true. That box is gorgeous. And then the other two I'm going to point out is one of my favorite childhood mobile suits of all time. The Goof Custom, which has a giant Gatling gun. It's just badass. Gatling guns are cool. Every toy should come with a Gatling gun. And that, that, that mobile suit has been a favorite of mine since I was a kid. And then the last one I'm going to, I'm going to point out too, since I've built one today, but the last main one I'm pointing out is the Shin Matsunaga Custom High Mobility Zaku Tube, which I plan to turn into my next robot cosplay. It's going to be a badass white Zaku. And then, just got this one in today, and it's the Blue Destiny RX-79 Custom GM, which is also just a cool mobile suit. But overall, I've bought a lot. There's a lot of stuff I didn't mention, but there's no way I could cover it all real fast. Cause I'll be talking about I have a quick question stuff. about the Gundam model kits. Yes. Are those the ones that you don't have to paint them? You just like put them together? Uh... It's you. Can, the ones yes, he has. You can't. You don't have to paint them. But what I do is I'll take a Gundam marker and just plan align things to make it look nice. Yeah, but as but far as know. everything, all the body parts being in the right color. Like if you had an Optimus Prime one, it would have blue legs and red arms. And, yeah. Yeah, they're all. Yeah, they're, they're, all they're cast in the correct. And okay. they're all colored right. And that's just anyone who wants to build Gundam markers. Use snips, not scissors. And I'm done. I could just use my no, amazing kitchen done. shears that you no, work on next. everything. No, nope. someone else go now. Everything, and we can use Velocity's Velocity scissors as it's well. It's a disgrace to model kits. Just saying, it don't turn out right. I use fingernail clips. I hope that's okay. No, that's fantastic. No, if I could get my snips, I'd show you what they look like. But they're on the other side of the room. But yeah, that's my ouch, my wallet. I don't know if I've ever seen you with that much of a beard, John. I just noticed that. He's trying to catch up to me. No, I just <laughs> I just haven't had time to shave. I'm always working. All right, well, someone who does have time to shave from the looks of her face, Amber. <laughs> that was a fantastic session. <laughs> Do you have any uh, ouch, my wallet this week or this month? I think you're muted or something. We're not hearing you. Yeah, I was muted. I'm retarded. No, that was me. My 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 headset comes equipped with a hey, mute the mic when you're not talking, because that's kind of common etiquette when you're on the internet. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, I got I got a couple of ouch my wallets. Um, nothing really major, because uh, a lot of the time it's uh, it's especially right now, uh, moving back in with my parents, and I'm, I'm kind of on my own again, as opposed to my my ex-boyfriend who uh, paid everything for me, so now I'm kind of on my own again, so I don't really have a lot of money to be spending money on toys. So this is technically an Ouch My Wallet for someone else. I don't know why he bought them. Maybe he just bought them because, oh, they're cool, and then I'm done. But uh, Twitter member uh, Emerald Beacon sent me uh, a few Creon sets. This one... This one happens to be Scorponok. It's just a little Creon itself. Um, I haven't really had a chance He's to open cool. these or play with them yet. Yeah, Scorponok's cool. I actually already have him, so now I have another Insecticon. Okay. Um, yeah, I had the I Scorponok. Have... That was the preview wave, right? He was yes. probably the best one out of that preview wave. Yeah, he was. Then this one is, if I can remember... <laughs> i got to take it out of the package because I can't remember. I was playing with it earlier. This one is... That's what she said. Uh, Predicon. Predaking. Pardon me. Wrong, it's the, wrong uh, wording. the change combiners. Oh, no, wait. This one is not Predaking. <laughs> this one is... This one. This one is Bruticus. Because he's, he's not Waldo, orange. Waldo he's, not, he's not orange and gray. Yeah, well, I thought... I, I looked at it and I realized he wasn't orange and gray. So this is actually Bruticus. And then I have uh, Predaking in here. But again, I haven't really had time to take them out or play with them. They're still in the little bags. Um, uh, this one is... Is obviously Devastators, lots of purple and green. And then this one is Superion. This one's the other one. Um, 
as soon as I get a chance to play with them, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, I have a giant uh, TARDIS lunchbox that has all of my crayons in it. I love that lunchbox. It, it, it's a cool lunchbox. It was like 25 bucks at Comic-Con last year. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it, it. It came with is a... It, is it bigger on the inside? It is bigger on the inside because it holds all my crayons. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, yeah, like I will lunch. eventually. Yes, I will eventually tear out all of or take out all of the little crayons from here, and uh, and put them in that in that lunchbox as well. It's getting kind of full though, which kind of irritates me. The TARDIS needs to get a little bigger. Uh, but we'll figure that one out. Um, another. This isn't really Hasbro, but uh, this is a Pillow Pal. Well, I don't think they're pillow pals. I don't think that's what they're called. At least what he's calling them. But again, uh, Twitter Twitter member Emerald Beacon uh, is making these. Um, this happens to be... It fits a, a regular travel size pillow. This is lockdown. He's made uh, a few bots. He's made uh, tracks. I think he's made an Optimus Prime and a Bumblebee before. He's done some Star Wars designs. So it's not strictly... Uh, it's not strictly done just for the Transformers. Uh, but... He's selling these. He's working on it. It was kind of a cool idea, and I like niche, little, weird, eclectic, strange things like this. So I, I like... He sits on my bed. He's just this cool little thing uh, to hang out with me. Um, that's really all of my on-topicness. Um, Off-topic, um, I recently bought a, uh, a tea kettle, an, an electronic tea kettle, because my last one broke. So um, I bought a tea kettle. I bought a couple of uh, these uh, infusers from Adagio Tea. Adagio is one of my favorite tea companies online, um, and it's just it's a tea infuser for loose leaf tea, so that I can have tea. You've probably didn't see me drink it all day. It's tea. It's amazing, and it's good for my skin. And Think it's, it, it has a uh, Death Star tea infuser. Yeah, it, it has. Tea, that would get that. <laughs> this has it has cut. Uh, soda out of my life. So it's like you, I mean, I, it's like you use the death the the Death Star one, and as you dip it in the tea, exactly. and the tea is darker. You say, "Welcome to the dark side." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is yeah, but this is you, you've seen me drink it. It's it's tea. It's cut soda out of my life. I'm trying to slim down because I'm getting kind of big, which sucks. Um. Yeah, I really I don't my. Kind of one of my, it's not really, an, another one of the off topics is because my parents came out to come get me. They spent $450 and, no, it was $650 and a 22-hour straight road trip all the way from San Diego to Texas and back just to come and get wow. me. So that I that's another one of my off my vaults because I had to pay for the back for that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Like, Mom, Dad, come get me. Okay, but you're paying for the trip. Exactly. Well, yeah, I saw, I'm, I'm working on paying for the trip, so that, that's, that kind of sucks. But, hey, at least I'm back kind of where I like to be. Um, one of my... I'm not going to drag him out because there's no point. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, just rose. We were doing so good. Yes. That's an interesting picture. Oh. Okay, good. We're uh, back. Now, <laughs> yes. <laughs> good. We're off. back. Sorry, guys. We have a little bit of a lag. Um, apologize okay, for that. You said there was something. Um, you weren't going to drag it out, but yeah, it's. Oh, I'm not going to bring it out. Uh, it's actually. It's not necessarily an ouch my wallet, but it's an. Oh my god! I can't believe I did that. In my haste to work on packing up from El Paso, I actually broke one of my Transformers toys. Oh no! Like physically, like physically snapped his leg off. Oh. Which and it one? was. Uh, the seventy, the seventy dollar uh, alternate Skywarp. Oh, the Mitsuru Okarochi. Yeah, wait, that's wait, the wait, second one. one. He's had a lot of this issues. This the second. No, that's the second one. I bought one. Oh. His shoulder joint good. snapped because I, I, I love transforming the playing with him, but his shoulder joint snapped because I wasn't gentle with him. Um, so then I bought another one, and this is the second one. The second one, his his leg snapped. I was trying to transform him back to a car to get him back in his box. And he well, <laughs> the, the good news is, since it's the shoulder on one, leg on the other, you can actually I'm, piece together a whole one. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping. Unfortunately, they're not like ball joints. Like the like the the ball joint is in the arm. Like for the other one. Mm -hmm. Oh no no no! It's not. It's unfortunately they're not ball joints. Pardon me. They're pegs. So I have to figure out how to get them apart so that I can try and put it together a whole one. You may have if to I split it like in the body somewhere. 
Yeah, like, if I can't apart. if I can't put together a whole working Skywarp, I have to buy another one. <laughs> well, if, before you get to that point, my Skywarp collection. <laughs> being the avid kit basher that I am, before you get to that point, just ship them, ship both of them to me, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try that. One for you. I will try that and see what happens. Um, another one of my ouch my wallet is again, it's not really ouch my wallet; it's someone else's wallet. Um, but I'm working on commissions, just like Natsume is. Um, just and I've gotten this is my first one, um, and this happens to be uh, Verity. This well, this this is technically um, Ultra Magnus's Hollow Forms gauntlets. Um, this was done by uh, this was commissioned from uh, Twitter user Kali Carrie Shoka, and. She she thought these would be cool. It's just something. She's probably going to wear them to BotCon. Um, I have them both. They are very pretty. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see her wear them because I'm really excited. Um, so, yeah, I am like I am doing commissions, just like Breakdown. Um, just kind of something just for, you know, fun. Because I like building these things, but I don't have the space to store them necessarily. So... Um, build them for other people. Make yeah, money. so I, I build them for other people. It's it's a lot of fun too. I really love doing it. So the more I get to do it, like the happier I. Because it, it's it's a lot of the once you do it, it's 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 like everything else that's addicting. It's like once you do it, you just want to keep doing it. But I don't have the space for them, and <laughs> it's like I mean, breakdown is uh, breakdown's a year old as of the eighth of August. No, as of the eighth of May, he is. Or he will be. Well, he was at he was at Botcon, right? Oh, no, not not May. Oh my god, he was January, at Botcon, so it was like last March. Week. Yeah, well, April. Excuse me, April, April eighth. He was. Uh, his birthday is April eighth, so he's a year. He's a year old now, um, and he's held up pretty well. So like, it's like, and that's a, that's kind of the thing is it's like, they are. Will you stop that? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that are downloading this and listening. Gar- Guard Convoy was having his Transformers do naughty things on screen. And I just yeah. now realized it. <laughs> We're talking about I'm, it over the chat. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm I see that. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, Breakdown, like I said, Breakdown is a year old. Um, he's held up pretty well. I don't see myself throwing him away, at least yet. He's he's probably like if I'm careful with him, he's probably got maybe another two or three years. So it's like I don't really want to throw him away because he's still valid. Concept. He still works. Yeah, and it's like if if he was in worse shape, I'd probably throw him away because my next costume I really want to do is uh, Skyquake Transformers Prime Skyquake. Whoa, you can um, do it, and then I won't have to build him. <laughs> Well, that's it. that's just my plan right now. The, right now, my actual only plan is to make his helmet because I want to bring that to Bacon. I, I don't know if I'm actually going to make the full costume or not, because I just don't have space to store them. You can't get rid of Breakdown because you're our resident Silas, as long as you have that costume. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's about it. I have one more thing to talk about, but I want to talk about it when it's here, so that I can tell you my experience on tonight. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, we. I have a bunch of stuff in a pile of loot I'm not going to bring up because it's not here yet. Wait, I have one more thing. I forgot. One more thing? Yeah, one more thing. Well, two more things. How about a suitcase? What How about a briefcase? <laughs> it holds money. No, it's a little tiny briefcase. It actually works like a briefcase. It's got little hinges on it right here, just like a briefcase does. And it opens up. And inside are my business cards. This way. Nice. For breakdown. Fantastic. They're, my, they're my commission business cards. But I figured that the briefcase would be a fantastic thing. It's, it's, it's an aluminum briefcase. It's got little latches on it. It's got a working handle. It was. I was like, "That's cool. I'll just buy it." So yeah, and I like things in miniature. So like, I like doll-sized things, and that's kind of a doll-sized thing. Which well, perfect yeah. for the, the the little business cards. That's a great mm-hmm. way to carry them. Well, yeah. Well, it was it was marketed as a business card and and credit card holder carrier thing, and I figured, you know what, that'd be really cool. I have a little extra money to splurge, so I was like ten bucks. But hey, it's 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 cool, and every time I break it out, it's probably going to be like you know one of those weirdo conversation starters. Nice. Kind of eclectic right. thing. That's it, though. Now I'm done. That's <laughs> yeah. All right, my list is pretty long because it has been quite a while since we've been on here. I didn't realize I'd bought this much until going back through. I don't think 
I'm doubling up on anything from the previous podcast. I didn't re-listen to see my alpha my wallet list to compare. Um, but I'll try to go through these relatively quickly. Uh, Desi already, not may already talked about her smoke screen. Uh, so I have him as well. I pretty much mirror everything she said. I think it's a great toy. Um, I also remember what about the chest. It's kind of flat. Mm -hmm. um, I think if they found a way to get the hood, because the hood is like right here, it's right on the opposite side. If they could have found a way to get that to flip around and just fold up, it would have made a similar look but thicker, which would have really helped fill out his robot mode. But um, they always cheat on and something. And get rid of some of the kibble on his arms. Yes. Yes, um, but as he is, I think he's a pretty good toy. I like him as far as that goes. I only bought him because I was bored. You know, I don't really collect Prime stuff anymore, but it was kind of an impulse buy because I hadn't bought anything in seeming like a while. Nothing at retail anyway. I bought a bunch of stuff online. Um, like him, and I think probably the best in-store purchase I've had is uh, Hard Shell. I did not expect to like this guy. This was actually a case I was at Walmart, and I needed some cash, so I just needed to buy something so I could use my debit card and get cash back. Because nice. I would rather buy something than to give an ATM some money. Mm -hmm. uh, so they had hard shells or anything new, and I was surprisingly like this thing more than I thought I would. Um, he's pretty neat. I mean, it feels like we've gone back to the old basics, or maybe even a little better. This is going to be for the size class, one of the best engineered transformers I've ever had. He has little uh, rubber wings, right? Uh, no, they're they're plastic, but they're a little flexible. Okay. The like ones I saw in the store, I was worried that they were bent in, like, and so that's one of the reasons why I was afraid to get them. Mm, yeah, if they were bent, I probably wouldn't have gotten that one because that's. I mean, you see, I mean, it'll bend, but it springs right back. Okay. It's, you know, I don't know how well it's showing off my crappy webcam. It was, it was like down by the ball joint, not quite like the at the angle they're at, but it looked like it was actually bent more. Like one side, you could tell it was bent more than the other one. And okay, yeah, that was just a defective one. I wouldn't have bought that one. Um, but yeah, he's really neat. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Uh, I've got a couple things here sitting in front of me. Um, picked up, uh, went to visit Captured Prey's uh, warehouse where they ship from, and they had the Takara Bruticus limbs. Uh, the only one I got, because this is the retail version, I picked up the Blast Off because Blast Off is supposed to be brown. I'm uh, just waiting for Whirl to come out so I can do some part swapping and have a gray and purple Whirl for that arm. And I'll have him in G1 colors, albeit a little brighter on every limb. But yeah, yay. So, got the blast off. Um, I would totally buy the Takara Bruticus. So pretty. It Especially is. That, but that brawl. I just didn't like the fact that every figure was shiny except for Brawl, which worked good for putting on this one, but I don't really dig the shiny paint that much. Yeah. Uh, went to a Toys R Us. I had two of those $5 reward things. And so they had the micro changers. Uh, the local Toys R Us only had two. They had uh, Devastator and Predaking, King, but they didn't have any of the single packs. And you see they only come with four of the five members. Uh, but the fifth members are included in the single packs. You just have to know the product codes to find them. Except for Devastator, he's supposed to have six, so you can only get five right now. Um, so I didn't buy any. Uh, I ended up going to uh, the next big city over Louisville where Weird Wolf now lives. Um, and we went to Toys R Us there, and they had all four sets, and I decided to get uh, the Bruticus just because I wanted a little swindle. I picked up the Blast Off. Uh, I have assembled him, and I actually figured out how to work all the parts onto him. Um, he not only has like all the extra heads and stuff that you just lay aside, I've attached them. I don't know how well the show on the cams not that good, but I got the heads on the back of the legs. Uh, but one of the heads, like on the chest plate, because it matches the gray plastic wheel. And then I worked. Blast off! He's on this arm here. I've worked his parts into the toy as well. So all five members of the Combaticons are in that Bruticus. Uh, also picked up the Superion and the fifth member for that team, but I haven't built it yet. Um, that was also, I think, the same trip I picked up the smoke screen. All right, the other uh, big thing I got that I'm uh, really proud of: the uh, two of the three bait convoys. I got the gray one and the red one. Uh, want the green one, but it's way too expensive. So picked those guys up on eBay. Got a really good deal. Found a seller that was willing to sell both. We dealed off of eBay. He just sent me a PayPal invoice. Saved me like 30 bucks over what he was asking for. I'm on the buy it now. Um, he had the lowest price on eBay at the time, too. Uh, also picked up what I don't have here handy to show you. That's all the ones I brought in this room. Uh, but also picked up a Megabolt Megatron from R.I.D., uh, just because I got nostalgic about the head mode, putting it on Brave Max because the colors match up perfect. Uh, since I'm getting a Fort Max, I figured we need to have Brave Max with the Megatron head to kind of have them be enemies. 
You just uh, reminded me of something I forgot that I got. Uh oh. My G1 Cerebros. Finally, my Fort Max after like five years has a head. Oh. And here, I just bought a toy to use instead of the Cerebros <laughs> on my Brave Max. Um, also picked up uh, a little while back, a few weeks ago, I picked up the third party Quake Wave, which is the like Masterpiece Shockwave. That is a thing of beauty. It looks great on the shelf next to other Masterpieces. Uh, I don't have Soundwave yet because he's in my pile of loot, but as soon as I get him, they're going to go on the shelf next to each other. Um, I think I mentioned the Masterpiece Side Swap on an earlier podcast, uh, but then I picked up Red Alert. Now I have him. I've got my Masterpiece uh, Frenzy and Ravage. Uh, there was a misprint on the package for some reason. It's don't Rumble. you start this. <laughs> uh, but then I also picked up some uh, some vintage stuff on eBay. I picked up a uh, a Target Master Scourge mint in box. Um not, not sealed, but it was meant in the box. Had all the the you know, the box was intact. The insert and bubble are gone, but it had the instructions and everything. Of course, the scourge and his target master everything's complete for like two fifteen. I paid for that. Um, not saying I'm going for two fifty without the box, so I thought two fifteen was good. Um, picked up a G two Starscream and Ramjet, both complete and darn near mint. Uh, and then I picked up a Beast Wars. I don't know if it's Beast Wars Neo or Beast Wars two. Uh, Galvatron, but I think the box says Garbatron, and he yeah, basically Beast is Wars 2. is Beast Wars Two. Yeah, he, he looks like Megatron, except he turns into a dragon and a cannon, um, and he's purple, but he's purple like Megatron, like the first Beast Wars Megatron. Um, and then the only thing I got after, after that, that's all my Transformer stuff. Um, I will say this though, my my frenzy slash Rumble, whatever you want to call him, uh, came with two of the same pile driver. So if any of our listeners or viewers uh, has the same problem but with the other pile driver, uh, just try to contact me through the, the YouTube channel you're watching this on. Or Did you get the Twitter left or the right? Galvatron. I think um, it's the it'll be his left-handed gun because the guns store in the pile drivers. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got two of the same pile driver. I can put his left gun in both of them, and the right-handed gun I can't put anywhere. Okay. Um, so if anybody has two right side pile drivers and wants to trade one, I'd be. Okay. I got lucky with the pile drivers. Both are mine are correct, thankfully. Yeah, I, I know two other people that also got two of the same one, and they got the same one I did, so none of us can trade. Uh, uh, so I know of three, my, counting myself, three people got, you know, the Rumbles. They had two of the same pile driver. So there should two be other people ones. out there, right? Yeah, somebody out there has two right ones. I just got to find them. Maybe just um, one person got all the right ones. Uh, yep. I don't know. But uh, then the other thing I got that was kind of off topic, but it's relevant. I bought it uh, listening to a, another podcast that uh, I listened to. I'm not going to necessarily plug them, but uh, they were talking about dollhouse furniture that he picked up like a desk with a computer and stuff. And I thought, you know, that sounds pretty neat. I'm pulling up a picture and I'll do a screen share. But I went online and started exploring this, and I picked up something uh, really neat. Just give me a second to pull the picture. My internet's slow with all the streaming we're doing. We control the entire internet. All right, I'm going to do the screen share here. I'm doing my own plugin right now. And here we go, screen share. Uh, you see, I got this little dollhouse curio cabinet. Nice. Um, that is the t- tiny toy shop. Uh, Prime that came out. It's the smallest transformer you can get. It's even smaller than WSD. It does not transform. And even to get it in there, I had to remove one of the shelves. That's how small this thing is. But you see standing next to Universe Galvatron there. It's perfect scale for you know, deluxe size transformers if you That's pretend that they were six feet tall. So here my Galvatron has his Optimus Prime collection and he's reaching in. So that was, uh, I bought that on eBay for like 15 bucks. <laughs> Shit. That's awesome. And, uh, That's one yeah. twelve scale, right? Uh, yeah, it's a one inch scale. Alright. Yeah, one twelfth would make it uh, for six feet, would be six inches, yeah. Yeah, so it would be the same scale as figure arts and thickness for everyone to get stuff. Yeah, so that's really neat. Uh, I w- I, when I originally bought it, I was hoping it would be big enough to fit the uh, WSTs in, because I had the full WST collection. I could have given him a more varied collection than just one Optimus Prime, but oh well. Made for a neat picture. And that's all I have, so I guess from there. Uh, if nobody else has anything else they thought of last minute, we will head into the news. All right. Uh, first news item we're going to talk about. We had a, a lot has happened over the last seven weeks. Uh, we're not going to go back over every major news story. We've tried to hit the ones that appeal to us, so we'll have more fun talking about them. And they're more uh, recent. Some things are recent. Some things have had news leaking out over the last seven weeks. 
Uh, the first story being the Generations Metroplex new images. Uh, some Jakar employees have been tweeting out images, and uh, we've had several. I think the first one was just a Fort Max with an arm behind it, and then we had uh, Fort Max with uh, you know Metroplex looking over his shoulder, and then you know, recently we've gotten some with um, Fort Max in his city mo or his battle station mode with G1 uh, Metroplex, and then we've had you know Legends figures so, you know on, on deck, like a Star Scream on the but I guess it looks like almost like an aircraft carrier to take off. It does. Uh, so what yeah. are your guys' thoughts on these pictures? I think the most recent one that just came out today that really blew my mind was the G1 Metroplex standing in front of the Generations Metroplex. And he only comes up to his knee. That just is like, holy cow. Because Metroplex G1 isn't really a tiny toy. Yeah, I'm looking at mine right now. And comparing to Fort Max, it goes a little above his lower... Uh, where his knee would be if he had a knee. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this Metroplex is going to be huge. Yeah, I was just blown away. I never really compared my Brave Max to Metroplex, so I was unaware that he came up to his knee, but it just... He really looks big in that picture. I yeah. think the toy looks huge. I cannot wait for that figure to come Over out. Over two it's feet be tall. So much fun. I'm yeah. buying two. I'm going to buy I... two. Over two feet tall, man. I don't know... Who has that kind of money, or who has that kind of space? Because <laughs> I, I sure have, don't. I, I, have, I will. Say I'm just I going admire. to admire it from afar. I have the Star Wars AT-AT two feet tall walker. I have Fort Max. I have robot costume. I have boxes, three shelves. I force myself to have room. <laughs> it's like if it's important, you'll find space for it. Yes. And I'm going to have two just to have one to put up because you know it's going to be worth money someday. It's one well, of the few know, times I'm going to actually pull, save something for us. You're going to invest in, in Transformers? Yeah. It's the one time. Just Rather than buying stock in Hasbro, you're just going to buy their toys and hang on to them, which is probably actually more profitable than buying mm -hmm. stock in the long term. Long run. At least for um, that Metroplex. Yeah. So, to me, that Metroplex is masterpiece Metroplex. It looks so G1. And it's so large, it's so articulated that that it's going on a masterpiece shelf. Because I don't really collect classics anymore, so. But that thing looks fantastic, and I've got a spot right on my masterpiece shelf with my third-party combiners and Prime and Red Alert and Quake Wave. That's where it's going. Uh, I can't wait for that mold. Now, some more news about this toy that's been coming out. Uh, there was a, uh, I don't remember exactly the source on this where it, where it came from. Uh, maybe some of us will recall. I don't know. If we we didn't link to this in the chat. Uh, to have the new story handy, but wasn't there something where it was reported that the, I know the Takar version is going to be a little different than the Hasbro version? It says it's going to be more true to the G1 colors. And then there was some convention, I think, in Hong Kong, where they said theirs was going to be released in SDCC uh, colors. Uh, what we heard that. was the apparently the Takar one is going to be more G1 accurate gray to the show than the white the Hasbro is going to be. It's apparently going to have two guns. And it's going to of course. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then we heard from some Asian com that some Asian convention is going to have an exclusive release of Metroplex that colors are going to be like the SCCC. So that's leaving credence that apparently P SCCC might have a exclusive Metroplex. Yeah, and that's where the, my question comes in because looking at last year's SDCC Bruticus, um, it was in very similar colors to what Takara ended up releasing. Um, so what, what do you guys think? Do you think Metroplex is just going to be, the SDCC version is going to be similar to Takara's and thus making it different from the retail? Or um, do you think they're going to go ridiculous like Metro Titan? I wouldn't be surprised, in all honesty. Usually they do some sort of gigantic packaging for, for all of their main lines. They did a huge package for, they do a huge package every year for the G.I. Joe line. They do a huge package every year for the Transformers line and then several smaller ones after that. So we're still looking at trying to figure out when or where the SDC one or the SDCC one is going to target to and 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 who they're going to use and as of right now considering that Metroplex is their biggest toy currently to come out and it's also the most current that will probably be uh, it will probably actually end up that we will see this version coming out at a later date like I, I don't know if this one has a release date yet. I don't think it does. Uh, um, sometime in the fall. 
Yeah, okay, so so they're going to probably release a Comic-Con version yet first with this one, if it's true, find out what kind of a market they have, and then that will press to how many they're going to release of the other version. Uh, what? Of what? No. Of, the, of the retail version. Like, is that's, that's the general idea right now, but as of so far that I've heard, that's not an actual, it hasn't been confirmed, obviously. It's just a rumor, I think, that I've heard floating around. Um... Because the uh, Comic Con should be releasing that that sort of information soon. Hasbro should be uh, should be right yeah. along that line. It's 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 getting down to the wire. I mean, we've got what is it now? It's April, so we've got two and a May, half actually. months until Comic Con. May, yeah, that one. Thank you. Yeah, so we've got we've got. Thank you. We've got a month and a half <laughs> before Comic Con hits. Uh, so as of this point, we're kind of. Well, didn't they reveal the SDCC uh, Bruticus at BotCon last year? They did. Which but was... BotCon was around the end of April, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. so it should be any week now. They did, so it should be any day now. It's, it's sometime this week they had rumored. There, there's been rumors flying around that sometime this week Comic-Con should be releasing um, or rather, the specific, uh, specific companies, not just Hasbro, but a bunch of different companies, should start releasing probably sometime in the next week, week and a half, and then, you know, We'll be hit with news over and over and over again from different companies, not just Hasbro and not just about Transformers. But yeah, I'm I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably gonna skip it, especially if it's that big. And I usually help people. Like, I mean, last year, I think last year a total of twenty eight hundred dollars passed through my hands from other people jumping in on it. Hey, I want this toy. I want this toy. I want this toy from Hasbro. I, I ended up buying eight Bruticus and. Anybody who has Bruticus, even even in the regular just retail version, knows how big that toy is. But then mm-hmm. it was that on top of a huge art box. The thing was gigantic. It was the biggest thing I've ever had to deal with. And there were eight of them that I had to ship away. <laughs> so it's like I honestly believe that that if that actually and if 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 this Metroplex actually ends up being one of those toys, I'm gonna be like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you can find someone else willing to do it, or you can find it on the aftermarket because I am not doing that no, one. No, <laughs> you, won't, you, won't you won't mule me a Metroplex this year? No, I am not going to mule you a Metroplex. I will well, not. If even if it means... If like, even if I don't have to ship it off. Like, like I, as of right now, I think I'm, I think I'm going to limit... I'm certainly going to limit, like, who I help because last year I helped, like, a total of 18 people. So... This year, I'm certainly going to limit that number, but I'm kind of half thinking of just limiting it to TFCon people, so I don't have to ship anything out. I just drive it up to te- <laughs> just drive it up to Canada. Nah. And, we, and when I'm, it comes I'm to that, try to go to TFCon. When it comes to that Metroplex, well, what the hell is that? What was that? <laughs> it's like your dog is not happy. <laughs> Anyways, the the way we can look at the how they if they do Metroplex is going. to the same way they did the aircraft carrier from Avengers for the Marvel Universe line, and then the Sentinel and Galactus figures that were all were released in the line because they were in big boxes, and then Hasbro released them at retail afterwards. And then if you just look at the aircraft carrier, it was larger, the SCCC one was larger than the retail one. The San Diego Comic Con Helicarrier was an entire foot longer than the retail version. So, what so the, the toy was, was the same, it is a bigger box, right? No, the toy, the toy, the toy was physically one foot longer. The, oh, the wow. San Diego Comic Con uh, Helicarrier was physically one foot longer than the one they released at retail. So, so what they like remolded going, it. What they're probably going to do for, Brutic, for Metroplex is the American, the if they do SDC, SDCC one, it's probably going to have two guns, because the retail one's only having one, because it only technically needs one, but they'll probably throw in a second gun, just for the SDCC one, which is they've proven they'll add accessories for the SDCC one by well, also, showing the helicarrier carrier from the Avengers. They also mm-hmm. have a track record of releasing toys for SDCC that are pretty close to the retail versions, it's just with special yeah. packaging and minor paint differences. I go back to like the Matrix Prime, Matrix Box Prime mm-hmm. from uh, Transformers Prime. Uh, that toy came out again later in the two-pack, well, wherever first edition hit. Um, 
And then, like I said, the Bruticus was very similar to the Takara version. Uh, that the zombie cliff jumper also ends up coming out Toys R Us. So uh, it's possible this thing's not going to be that much different. It'll be specially boxing. It's, it's probably going to be close to the Takara one with an extra gun and the G1 cartoon accurate right colors. That's my guess. And then a giant box. Okay. Well, I have the uh, Takara one on pre order from HLJ. Current exchange rate is 153 which is only like $27 more, $28 more than the retail price. Time, you know, Toys R Us marks it up, it may not be that far off. Um, I haven't paid for it yet, so I can always cancel it. It turns out it's not worth the extra difference in money. Um, but I kind of got my base, bases covered on that. If the SDCC one is similar to Takara, uh, even if I can't find a mule, you know, I can still get it at a reasonable price. All right. Um, anybody else have any thoughts on the Metroplex? It's just awesome. It's very it pretty. Awesome. I can't wait to get it. I will admire from afar. Same here. I won't be able to afford it. I I, can, I will probably be able to afford it, but I don't want to keep it because <laughs> that thing is huge. Okay, so. well, Amber, if the thing ends up being um, Metro Titan colors, and that's uh -huh. the only way to get Metro Titan colors, I will have to find a way to bribe you and getting you a new one for me. I need a Metro Titan. <laughs> it's like, it's I need a Metro Titan. Twice the amount of money. I would be like, buy one two. million dollars. Like, buy, buy two. I will pay for both. You can keep one and mail me one. <laughs> there you so go. So bad, I would want the Metro Titan. I oh want Metro God. Titan so badly. Okay, well, if it, I don't know. I'm probably going to do it maybe, maybe one or two, but that's about it. Maybe. I'm not even sure about that. See, another great reason to live in San Diego, huh? Right there next to the con, you can go anytime you want to. Exactly, it's great because hey, I don't have to get a hotel. Comic Con is like the best thing ever for me. Is I mean, I don't have to get a hotel, which is like one of my favorite things. Like I don't have to worry necessarily about transportation. I just go down to the uh, trolley station. You know, just take the trolley down there. It works completely fine that way. All right. Well. Um... We're next news story. Um, didn't really put this in any particular order. We're looking to segue into the TFCon exclusives we're talking about conventions. But I don't want to skip ahead of our list because I'll get confused and I'll go back. We have um, from the Generations, I guess this is the mo mobile game. Uh, yeah. I'll let uh, somebody else who's more knowledgeable on this take this news story. I'm, I'm really not put up to speed other than just, Well, no, as far as this news story with the, the Fatal, was it Fatal Furies? Yeah, Fatal Furies. Yes. I'll I'll take it. That's fine. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, Fatal Furies. Uh, for those of you who have an Android phone, uh, Fatal Furies is part of the Transformers. Um, the Transformers Legends Android game. Um, pardon me, my screen just went black. I gotta figure out what's going on. Um. But they recently came out with this new uh this new area in the game where the Fatal Furies. So you have Elite One, Chromia, Fire. Sorry. <laughs> you got a podcast bomber back there. I, I do, I do. You're photo bombing the podcast. <laughs> I do. She's a photo bomber, but it's okay. It's a uh, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. It, yeah, RC. Elita One RC Firestar, I think is her name, because I'm retarded and don't know them, and Chromia. So they they get released. They are actually the bad guys in this particular version. You have to fight them. They're your bosses. Um. Which is cool. Um, it's a cool new patch. It's a cool way to invite to to introduce the females into this because it's all just been you know the male, um, the male characters of the uh, of the game. But uh, I I gotta find this. I can't find the news story. And I'm retarded. And just I'm scroll sorry. all the way up to the top of the chat. <laughs> Very I, I can't it's even, underneath the Metroplex. Ooh, honestly, yeah. I can't do that. Something happened with Google Hangouts, and I can't click okay. on anything or move anything around. Here, I had the link oh. up. Let me get it. I'll, say, I could I'll copy it and send it to you, but if you can't click in the chat, it's I can't on click on anything. So you even if you can see the and link, no. Well, you copy and paste, yeah, probably, but I can't click on anything in the chat. Nothing's changing. Oh, that's the wrong one. Don't, don't click on mine. Apparently, it didn't copy when I copied it. I sent it though. Yeah, send. Go to John's. John's is the right one. Yeah, I'm not typing in all of that. <laughs> no, you copy and paste. Literally, I can't touch it. But never mind. That's okay. I I can remember it. I I've got it. I've got it from memory. Um, one of my one of my favorite things about it, and unfortunately, I couldn't really find any images on it on TFW, but they were floating around Tumblr. If if you guys uh, participate in that, um, 
Elita, Elita ones. Thank you, Natsume, so very much. Um, Skype for the for the win. Oh, yeah, okay. I was trying to find you on Skype. I couldn't find you in there. <laughs> That'll so work just fine. Um, yeah, Elita, Elita ones is my. Oh look, I have a Springer in my house. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Elita ones is one of my favorites. Uh, she, she's a lot of the. Uh, controversial ass and tits pose, which was one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, highly, highly sexualized. TNA um, is your favorite thing? No, it, it's just, it just that particular pose amuses me so much because nobody in real life can do it ever. <laughs> but people think that they can. There it is. Look, I found. I... Share screen. <laughs> yeah, screen share. I yeah, I, I've okay, I've got it now. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but it's 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 pretty cool. Uh, just straight off the bat, just having just based on what that is, uh, the 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 girls are the bad guys. I think that's really cool because it also it it features the females, but it also features them in a central way instead of oh look, it's just an, it's another character you can play. Awesome, but no, they are the actual bosses. Of this current patch, which is one of my, which is one of my favorite things. Um, unfortunately, I have an iPhone. I don't have an Android phone as of currently. Hasbro isn't marketing this specific game to iPhones, so. Oh, they are. I mean, it could could be a thing with Apple. There's lots of things. Okay. There, okay. Possibly. Okay. Well, uh, Twitter user our Tony just said that uh, that actually is um, on for that, but I haven't. I mean, I haven't bothered to look at it. So hey, that means that I have something to download and play tonight. <laughs> I think it's neat that the RC is kind of a combination of G1 and Prime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like a very that G1 is design with, shoulder wings. Very G1 design with the Prime colors. Mm-hmm. She's that's that's pretty cool. She's got a lot of the G1 design in her, or she's she's got a lot of the G1 design. She's got a lot of the Prime design. Her Prime design comes from the bottom of the legs, her thighs, and her cod. I can severely see uh, the Prime influence in there. This is the only uh, picture I can find for this, uh, but I, I brought it up for our viewers mm -hmm. on YouTube so they can see. You can see the, the, the T right there. <laughs> you can't see the A. It's off the bottom of the screen. There's another shot somewhere. But yeah, that's uh, quite provocative for a uh, robot. There's like some under boob there, bottom boob, whatever you call yes. it. <laughs> not side boob. It's not just cleavage. Just I don't know what you call that. Well, you, with undercarriage. She, she'd get kicked know. out of a convention for that costume. Yeah, but we like, lost Amber, so she cannot continue this new story. So I guess we will just carry on to the next one. No. We said all we had to say. But anybody else have any more comments on that before we move on? Uh, really. I, I also really like the the designs and the prime influence on RC. I love her little door wings. I saw another picture and it showed them. Like they have sections, like they're actually wings that could like sort of pivot out and pivot back in, like they get closed. Which is oh, those were door wings. I thought they were just like well, uh, not like G1 RC had right? those things on her back. Yeah, she has like. Well, does this one turn into a bike or a car? Does yeah, this turn into a bike or a car. Well, I don't know if this one actually transforms, and I don't know if there's any cards or any images of her transformed. Because it could go either way at this point, I think. But they're they're just little bot wings. Let's just put it that way. They're her bot wings, and they have like little. I saw a little section piece of it. And I thought they could like maybe pivot a little bit, which would be pretty cool. I just I just like the way they look. That's all. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right, our next move uh, new story. We were just talking about SDCC. Now we're going to talk about TFCon, uh, which Amber just mentioned possibly moving toys to TFCon for pe for people from SDCC. Um, and this is the convention I'm going to try to make. It. This is more of a priority for me than even my con. Because uh, I've never been to TFCon. I really want to go. Um, but they just uh, released the, the bios for their two exclusive figures. As of this recording, we've not seen the pictures yet. Um, but the first one they revealed was exclusive Van Guardian. Um, and they go on to give this uh, the bios. Uh, and it's, it's pretty obvious. This is a, They tell me this is the Gobit universe. Uh, so the GoBots <laughs> or the Go, Gobits. Um, but, you know, haha, -ha, trying to skate around the IP infringement. Uh, really cute. Uh, I, I think what really, Van Guardian's bio here, what really stole the show was the names they made up for the leaders of Bike the Murder. <laughs> Captain One for Leader One and Bike Murder for Psycho. Bike Murder is the best go bit. <laughs> that, that is, it, it's, it's almost a shame that Bike Murder isn't actually going to be one of their exclusives. Because I would, I would do what it took to get a Bike Murder. Just Same here. Alone. 
a bike murder is awesome. I love me some GoBots, and yeah. I'm still trying to figure out who Vanguardian is going to be. I figured out who Roswell is, but I don't know who yeah. Vanguardian is well, going to be. Well, Vanguardian, uh, considering who we think Roswell is going to be, um, it mentions that he has a... Uh, I uh, will have him in front of him. He's got a shotgun, and he has um, Could it? high impact guessing, battle mask. It's uh, going to be the hench mold. Then it's going to be eye gears be, hench. Yeah, they, they're going to use eye gears hench. Is my my thoughts. Even though it looks more like an SUV than a van, and, and van Gobot Vanguard was a, a minivan. Um, but I think that's what it's going to fall down to. Um, you know, so. Uh, but I, I love the name Bike Murder Man. I'm sure we'll get that instead. Um, then we also had uh, Roswell's profile. Uh, this is the one that I think is a little stranger than Vanguardian. Um, I mean, obviously Roswell, it, it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, UFO. Uh, what was the name of the... Was it Pathfinder? Yes, Pathfinder. Yeah, so it's probably going to be Pathfinder colors of... Uh, you know, I guess it's the Cos not Cosmos. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, Cosmos. What's really strange about this profile is it starts out that says that it was a beautiful humanoid female who somehow became a robot. Uh, well, robots were cyborgs. They had actual brains. All if you, if you acknowledge that crappy movie that introduced that toward the end of the run. Uh, I'm just being yeah, it's just truth. Uh, I'm trying to find the certain part. We've seen really Crasher's brain. Odd. On the, in the actual show. Okay, here under her weaknesses, as she also can be a little vain sometimes, as she used hey. to be a very curvaceous and beautiful humanoid and is not pleased with her more current blocky robot body. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that part was a little, little tacky, but it, it's in good humor. It's funny. Um, it's a little, if not strange, it's funny. She can't um, get back in. She can't get back it's, in. She's saying... For you to let her back in, I'm seeing that it showed it shows that she joined the 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 chat like three times in the bottom right, and on Skype she's telling me it won't let her back in. All right, I'm gonna try to invite her again. Okay. Send her an invite. All right, viewers, be patient with us. We lost a member, and we're trying to get her back in. Sorry. I just hope they do make bike murder somehow, because that needs to happen. Well, I'm not going to reveal where I've heard this, but um, I hear a rumor from a very credible source. This isn't a he-tell-me thing, but even though I don't want to reveal the source, but they may never tell me anything ever again. Uh, but they've revealed these bios here for two exclusives, but I've heard rumor that there are four. Uh, but the other two are probably going to be something small and more limited in quantity and have nothing to do with uh, Bike Murder or Damn. Captain One. Damn, because I would no. so buy bike murder on the name alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what those other two will be, they're probably something small which you buy at the convention because they're not up on the registration page unless I was told wrong and they're really only two. Um, but yeah, I, I, from my understanding, the other two are going to be something small, kind of like the head robot snake uh, that they released the one year. Like, I like they had 100 of them. Yeah, Toxin. There were like 100 of those. So my understanding is going to be something small like that, small and expensive. Probably. And limited quantity. Um, but, you know, we'll see if that turns out to be true or not. Uh, if it is, I'm kind of curious what those will be. And I still kind of want to see what these are going to look like. Uh, I want yeah. to wait to see images. Did Amber manage to make it back in? Did she get my invite? Nothing. She's off of Skype. Like, it, she's not even online on Skype anymore. She probably restarted her computer. Uh, that's possible. Unfortunately. Yeah, because it was acting up on her. She wasn't. Uh, oh. She wasn't. She was having some issues with just like her. She couldn't click anything in the chat. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so it could be a computer issue. She had to reboot. Oh well, we didn't get to get her thoughts on TFCon. That's all right. She'll be back later. All right. Uh, now the new story. And I actually was looking forward to uh, Guard Convoy and. Uh, Sideburn 2 discussing this topic, but Sideburn 2... But he didn't show up today because he's a chicken. Yeah, oh, he, he knew I was going to destroy him. <laughs> so we have some new images and new information about the Transformers Go, uh, which most people listen to this podcast probably listen to other podcasts. So you already know a lot of information. Yeah. Um, as far as what that is, it, the Jap at first we thought it was going to be Japanese Beast Hunters. They were calling it that instead until they started introducing new molds uh, that as far as we know we aren't getting in the U.S., 
and that's mostly what we're talking about here. Um, Yar, do you want to take this new story? Uh, yes, I will. Transformers Go is going to be a direct-to-DVD um, release that is going to be included with some magazine, apparently, but it's going to be a brand new animation starring the... It's going to take place at the end after Beast Hunters, because they there was a group of Autobots that were left behind on Earth to track down the Predacon. And then there's going to be an Autobot combiner and a Decepticon or Predacon combiner. And it's just going to be brand new Japanese animation. I'm really pumped for it because it looks completely like Brave. And I've been wanting some more Japanese-only fiction for a while now because I'm sick of Transformers Prime. So if they can get some good animation on this, oh, it's going to be so much fun to watch. Well, it, it is technically still in the Prime universe. Well, but it can but still it's, be it's fun. But it's not made to by enjoy. the Americans, so he doesn't care. Exactly. Right. <laughs> and they're not—they're not, they're not very... restricted to the sort of, hey, we need you to move this this in this sort of direction for the franchise because then, you're like right. a major thing. And then what they can do is give it traditional animation, and then just bring in all the Predacons that aren't going to be in the show for now, and just have a full-out badass brawl, and just make it like Beast Wars 2 or Beast Wars Neo. It's just going to be a really cool OVA, and I'm excited for it to come out. Because well, I have are always awesome. I have a love-hate relationship with this new story. Um, I love the look of the toys because they do have a very brave aesthetic and the way they combine and everything. But I hate the prices they're going for. They're like yes, five dollars for what's... just one of the figures. So you're looking at 150 bucks for one combiner. It's tearing me up, sort of. So I'm like, I I want these toys. I'm like, ah, oh, they're going to be expensive, but I might just pull the trigger just because. I want. I got to see. Better images than what we've been teased yeah. with so far. If we can get some good images, kind of money. I'm going to wait till in hand reviews, but if their in hand reviews <laughs> are good, I'm going for them. Hopefully, they've got better proportions <laughs> than the Energon combiners. Yeah, uh, that, that combined very similarly. Because that was the problem with the Energon, uh, was that the, the bodies were too small for the limbs. And you would think combining them would help because you put two bodies together, except the bodies would break in half. And they combine yeah. have the same size body. So and hopefully, hopefully with hopefully these three guys do people, better. with three robots instead of two, they'll turn out better. Well, then the individual robots will all hopefully have decent sized bodies and not be, uh, yeah. you know, little stumpy guys. All right, and we have Amber is back. Yay! Hi. Back. I have a Springer toy. Oh God, I want that toy. I have a Springer. Yeah, to she's got it. Yeah. It's hers. Yeah, our Tony has the Springer. Cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, I need to click on your name. Keep holding it up. Yay! Is Nick Roshan as good as it looks in pictures in person? He's pretty cool. What's that? Is the Nick Roche head on Springer as good as it looks in person as it does in pictures? Is the Nick Roche head as good as it is in person as it is on the... Oh my god! <laughs> I think it means yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, when, when the girl sounds like she's having an orgasm when you talk about it, I think that means it's pretty good. I need that toy. Let me see. She's, she's going to pop yet. the head out in a second. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Let me see. Hi, well, Tony. I don't care. Oh, wow. He's pretty. Oh, that is nice. I just love that head sculpt so much. It's a good one. Really good. I might it, get this it the looks, It looks fantastic, that. honestly. The, can you see the instructions really quickly? Do you have those? Okay, so yeah, on the instructions of this guy, and this is really cool. This is one of my favorite things. Look at this gigantic piece of art right here. Ooh. So and that's I mean, not, Nick Roche style. Totally. Yes, this is this is Nick Roche style, but this this is a gigantic piece of art that you get in the instructions. And just going off of what you got from the head, what I remember from G1 and this head, they're all incredibly. Uh, it's very true. They're incredibly well done. This is an incredible head head sculpt. I am very impressed. If only oh, Botcon okay. can do head sculpts that good. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? Well, I no, okay, no, 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 <laughs> don't do that. No, because the animated BotCon toy sets was ama yes. were amazing for Those did have good They, they can do fantastic head sculpts. They just, just they dropped the ball too. when it comes to the uh, the pretender they did. Who was that? Yeah, uh, something like that. And Metahawk. Yeah. And then Overlord was bad too. Yeah. That's why I'm selling them. I'm not keeping any of them. <laughs> 
All right. Well, uh, Amber, did you have any thoughts on the TF exclusive BIOS? We covered that while you were, I guess, restarting your computer. Should we call the BIOS for those two? Um, Vanguard and uh, Roswell. Yeah, Roswell. Roswell interests me. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I don't really. Let me see. I gotta get. I gotta get everything to refresh. I apologize. I lost all my links. I lost everything. Um. Probably no longer have them in the chat either, do you? No, I do not. No. Hold on, I'll give you the full rundown again here. Copy and paste. Thank you very much. My apologies. My computer just wanted to stop functioning for a minute. Like, gave me the worst, like, no, I don't want to work kind of thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I can't do this with a webcam from my laptop. I have to use my desktop. I'm glad I didn't go with laptop. Oh, yeah, he was trying to test it earlier. They just don't put a good mm. enough processor in the laptops or less RAM. I don't know what to do. It's, it's less RAM because yeah. my laptop has the same problem. As far as I know, every laptop has a problem of, hey, we don't need that much RAM because it's a laptop. <laughs> yeah, I think I've got like 500 megs on my desktop and 250 in the laptop. That could be. Yeah. Well, I, I don't mind it. I love. <laughs> just I, I love my computer. Like I said, I mean, I love my computer, so it's not that big of an issue. It it was just like it was it was doing perfectly fine earlier, but I'm not entirely sure what happened. It just all of a sudden went. Oh no, we're not gonna work right now. It couldn't handle it all the Nick Roche awesomeness of that spring. I I guess I guess it was Nick Roche. I'm not entirely sure. I need all to of a sudden my, my friend shows up and there's Nick Roche and I'm like oh. So did you find the link? It's. Yes, I did. I have it now. Hello. So yeah, the, Roswell. Roswell interests me. Um, because uh, the bio, or just yeah. What do you think the well, the, the the bio interests me because it's it's a go bit thing, which is which is funny. It's, it's just it's Mike funny Carter. to me. Yeah, it's it's funny to me, and it's I like that he's kind of trying to be humble, which is great. You well, know. it's a she. Oh, she rather. Excuse me. Yeah, it says she can also be a little vain mm -hmm. sometimes, as she used to be a very curvaceous and beautiful humanoid, and is not pleased with her more current, blocky robot body. Right, right, right. That's my favorite line. Of I mind. think I think her her bio really interests me. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to. I probably won't end up getting her, but I will probably end up watching and looking. Oh, I just noticed and, they've got and, turbo lag. I guess that would yeah. be a reference to turbo. I think so. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's any others. TFCon no. needs to run with this Gobit thing every year. They need to do like a yes. lot of Gobits every year. <laughs> TF1, Captain 1 and Turbo Lag are the other two. I don't know. I, I think it's a cool thing. I'm looking forward to TFCon. Um, as I've said before, TFCon is my first uh, Canadian convention. So I, I'm looking. I'm interested in looking to see how they do. In, in in the whole convention running and Department. and what they have to well yeah and what they have to and not and not just next to botcon but next to like other like small scale anime conventions that I've been to just see how they do it you know I like I like going to different people's conventions just to see how well they participate in things like this different different ways to run things I guess yeah I'm going to be checking out the smaller conventions this I year know. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to mm -hmm. Slagacon because it's only an hour from here and where it's going to be this year. And then Shardacon is only like six hours from here uh, drive. So I'll definitely be checking those two mm -hmm. out this year. There shouldn't be anything me, to stop I just me. Go, I just go to a bunch of anime cons here in Texas. That's what I do. Yeah, I don't, I don't do anime free. conventions Acon anymore. All their, role, their, all their rules. Can't even do Yoko. You can't have any friggin' anything anymore. It's like, why even cosplay? You're not allowed to have gigantic weapons. Yeah, it's like they... Oh my gosh, and they were slamming... What was it? Caleb's hand? He had a, that like was a giant Aki hand. Con. Okay, that was AkiCon. Yeah, I just have problems with all of the anime conventions right now that are having problems with Yoko because they tend to have problems with everything else. I'm just looking at Akon's rules. Like, I'm just worried about things. I'm like, they're going to freaking take Gurren Lagann's glasses off because... Oh. Pointy at the tips. It'll be fine. Ah. Cardboard. Well, you know, I guess it's safe to say that Beast Hunter's yeah, I know. Into an anime convention, uh, with his that big was a fish gun. 
with his big fish gun. Have you guys seen? He looks this amazing. Picture? Fantastic! I want it. Uh, yeah, I was was when I saw all the teal colors. I thought it looked interesting, but I wasn't that sold on it until this. Okay, shark's con colors with the yeah. gnawy teeth on the front. I've, I've got to have this. It's, it's, just, it's just too fantastic. I, I don't even know where to begin. Just I'm in awe looking at this figure. It's just <laughs> shark's con colors. I, I want to get rid of my. It's just so ridiculous. Just because, just because yeah, mine it, just like so bland in comparison. It, it's just it's so ridiculous. We gotta see what the actual color comes Well, these are the Before, official images. They, they, they may be a little darker. I hope the grays. We just gotta see what the actual color. I hope the grays are a little lighter on the actual toy than in this picture. It looks a little dark. That uh, were Sharktacon. The gray on the like G1 Naw was a little lighter. Uh, I don't know. It's just like this thing. It it went so far ridiculous. It became awesome again. You know, it went beyond the groan to okay, that's cool. <laughs> It's like G two. Yes, it's like you you start getting ridiculous, but once you go so far with it, it becomes it, it goes full circle. And this toy does that for me. Not just the colors, just the design. I mean, yeah, it's, everything. It's it it's, it's what is he supposed to be? He's just like a flying fish. Yes, he reminds me of uh, uh, uh depth charge. Because he's like Depth a charge like a if he were a piranha instead of a stingray. Well, yeah, but just like give him some teeth on the front, right? He's like a flying fish with teeth on the front. Nice. Makes me think of the uh, the driller from the Dark of the Moon with all the teeth and the front that spins around. Because I, I just imagine the whole vortex of teeth on the front just going in a circular motion, just spinning as he's eating through stuff. Yeah, nom, 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 nom. Oh, now i got to have it recorded in yellow as Pac Man. <laughs> um, 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 oh my um, god, um, really? <laughs> Who's going to be the ghost? Well, that's what I think of whenever I... You can have him chasing all kinds of star screams. Whenever I hear om um, nom nom, I think of Pac-Man. Because that's all he does is eat. I think of this little green alien monster that eats candy. He's on my computer. Guard, what His name is om nom. Om nom nom. Oh, of course it would have to be some Japanese toy. Oh, it's, no. it's Grin's mouth moving. I can do that in person. <laughs> yes, awesome. he can. I made sure he could do that in the costume. <laughs> he can om nom in Gurren Lagan. Yeah. Yes. I can also nice. help with this. I do it a lot. I, I kind of want yeah. a uh, Beast Wars Megatron costume now. Or Beast Hunters. Well, you've got two you got two chicks in yeah, here that do commissions, so... <laughs> and I'm learning how to do costumes. So i got to like uh, take uh, measurements and send them to you so you know how to build it. Uh, you have to it's build yourself a mannequin. Body form, yeah. Oh. Build I yourself can, a I mannequin. I could probably do it off like stuff, but like with Tolly, I'm meeting the commissioner in a month at the convention. I'm actually gonna glue this stuff to her bodysuit, so I know, so I'm certain that it's gonna fit like as well as possible. Because I have like the generic dimensions, but it's not gonna be as tight as possible unless I was gonna be there to actually attach it to her with the haku and everything. But so. Would that not be the most awesome cosplay ever to dress like that Megatron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, any thoughts? Any more thoughts on him? What about his gun? I love the gun. It's like a sword, sun. It's a gun, sword, fish, all in one. I can't even speak it. I don't need so many things in one. I'm getting tongue tied trying to put it together. You is cannot compute the awesomeness. Is, is, is that a missile projectile coming out of its mouth? Uh, let me check again. I'm looking at the picture. I see like a little teal colored thing in the in the fish gun's mouth. Oh yeah. In the in the mobile mode. Also, what what faction is that on him? Is that the? It almost looks like a uh, one of the Space Invader things from the old Space Invaders game. I don't know if that's a projectile because it looks like it's on the the sword mode version too. Sticking out the back, back though. Yeah. yeah. Well, it could be a projectile. It shoots out the other way. Yeah. All I know is if it's a projectile, it better look like a fish. Like a fish that shoots a fish out of its mouth. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be lighter, so that light blue is going to be like... Whoa. Yeah, I want this. It's a fish. I'm buying that toy when I see it. I won't, because I'm just like, eh. That's still me. I just want it for the ridiculousness of it. It's kind of like I'm the reason gonna... why... Oh, another thing I didn't tell me the out of my wallet. I picked up an Energon Optimus Prime finally. Nah. So I now have Fatimus Prime. I only wanted. Oh, you had the one with the mouth. Yes. 
Yes. I only wanted it for the novelty of the fact that it was a fat Optimus Prime. And that's why I want this Beast Hunter Megatron. The novelty of it's a flying death fish. <laughs> okay, nobody has any more comments on that when we move on to our next story. Uh, third party company Make Toys or Make Toys, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, they're, they're, they've announced a uh, Computron. Uh, so far, the only story I've been able to find is one with the, the art. Somebody said the further down in that thread, they actually have CAD images of the toy itself. Uh, and we have anybody here that's excited about third party stuff besides me? I used to be hey. really into third party, but I'm just like, there's too much now. I'm just like, I'm taking a hands off approach to it. Hands off? Okay, well, this right here is a must buy for me. Um, still trying to catch up on current third party stuff, but this is on the list. I don't think it's going to be out for a while anyway. I have the uh, Green Giant, and he is fantastic. Uh, so, I mean, as far as quality goes, I have no doubts it's going to be good. And it's Computron. The main thing I want to know is can the uh, the not scatter shot be manipulated around to have the giant penis mode? That's very important. <laughs> it has to have engineering. Yes, because Virtual that's the best part of the G1 toy is when you can like twist his you twist him around, and turn his legs and the head and everything the other way, and he has the giant penis. Oh my god! You you tell me you've never seen that. I have. Okay, well, you're that's groaning, not the huh? most redeeming quality of the toy, guys. <laughs> come on, it is when, it is when you it's have a juvenile crucial. mind like we do. <sighs> you dirty-minded humans, come we on. We are we are boys. You know this is this is the way guys think. The guys think about putting penises on your toys. Every time we I, have I, a toy that can be... Every guy that's ever owned that toy has turned it around to have a giant penis at least once. <laughs> at least once. If not more. Heck, I even oh did it God. that way and then combined it with all the limb bots so that I had a giant Computron with a big penis. Instead of just scattershot. This just... all. This just reminds me of a, of a botcon... Oh, oh yes. Do you mind? <laughs> yes, this this just reminds me of of our gigantic table I'm setting. I'm still waiting for those pictures. I never Who got them. Boys? Who took no them? one ever gave me the pictures. So I can put them on. I Facebook. have a bunch of them. I, I got distracted by someone on YouTube sending me a thing. I don't even know what we're talking about now. <laughs> so we're still talking about uh, make toys, Computron. Okay. And and we're talking uh, about putting penises I'm, on toys. Yeah, we're talking about. We're wondering if Scattershot can be transformed like G1 Scattershot, so he has a giant dong. Uh, <laughs> I like Green Giant, so I'm probably gonna like it. That's that's as far as I'm gonna go on there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The Green Giant turned out fantastic, so the quality should be good. I was actually scrolling through the thread looking for more pictures, and there are a few more than posted. Um, nothing. It's all just like artwork, though. Oh. Uh. Uh, I thought I heard someone say something about cat images, but I've yet to stumble across those. Just sketches, artwork. But even with the artwork, it looks great. Mm -hmm. uh, still scrolling, still scrolling. Yeah, if I could afford all of these things, then I'd probably end up buying tickets to BotCon. Not the actual conventions, but the, the place so I could actually go see everybody. You'd rather go to the convention than buy a third-party combiner? No, I'm saying that, well... Probably actually, yeah, because I'm, there's probably about 20 people I want to I want to go meet up with. There's literally a lot of people I'm only probably going to see at that convention just because they're going, and a lot of people are only going this year, and a lot of people only go when it's on the West Coast. So <sighs> I am sort of torn because I don't I'm have that I kind can of. Do both. I don't have that kind of. I'm not even going to attempt to go because I know it won't happen because I'm already almost losing Acon. Well, I'm 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 putting the toy priority above the the botcon. I definitely am going to, go, going to try to go to TFCon if I get off work. You know, the two smaller conventions are for sure. Uh, but before I go blowing all the money on the plane ticket and stuff for botcon, I will make sure. I mean, the, to me, like Computron here is more important. I'd rather have Computron than to go to botcon since I'm going to the other three conventions. Um, although I'm like you, uh, not somebody I do want to go see my friends if they're going to be there. All uh, the costumes. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to make both both work. I'm I'm, I'm gonna try to get all the third party stuff. And if I have enough money left over, I'm gonna try to go to BotCon. You know me well, well enough. Right. I'm gonna be taking pictures of all the costumes. Gosh, but it's not gonna be the same as going there. I I have I to. Know. I it's, know it's 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 not fun to it's not fun to experience costumes vicariously. They're so much better in person. That is, if, if I would pay 
the plane tickets just to go and see the costume. That's literally what I would want to do is just meet the people and see the costumes. That is literally. Well, as long as I'm okay, it man, you can you can stay here. I hey, look! Have to... Look! Look! I have Transformers Legends on my iPhone. Yay! 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 Now I'm happy. Now I'm up with the times. Now it makes me happy. <laughs> now you can play. Now I yes, wonder now if it says you can play online with other friends. I wonder if you can play against someone who has it on Android, or if you can only play against other people who have it on. I don't know. That's a good question. I have a friend who's on an Android phone. I'm going to attack him and see what happens. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we will move on uh, since we're not getting a whole lot of talk on that topic, uh, other than me being really excited about the giant penis mode. Um, we also have another third-party news story here: the uh, Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime trailer. Um, oh, I'm that. not exactly sure who's releasing this. Um, um, Planet Icon on their their Facebook group, whoever that is. I don't know if that's a third party company or just some new site on Facebook. I'm not certain. Uh, all uh, I've seen is a new story of TFW that doesn't really say. Um, but anyway, it's a trailer that fits. Looks like Revenge of the Fallen Prime. Is that the one it goes for? Like the uh, the leader class. Mm-hmm. Um, and it. John you know, just goes from a trailer into that giant ring weapon holder that he had in Dark of the Moon. Uh, it's not quite as round when you take a boxy thing trying to make it round. It's more of like a geometric shape. Uh, but it turned out pretty good. Uh, they have a picture here showing it with the jetpack. I guess that would be Jetwing Prime from uh, the Takara release that so you can mount the, the jetpack in the trailer as well. Uh, which is neat if it'll store in it in truck mode as well. Because uh, I think that's in the movie. That's kind of where he said he kept the jetpack was in his trailer. So if you can actually store the jetpack in there, that'll be really awesome. It looks like you can fit the never ever changed ratchet mold in there, so I would say you could fit the jetpack in there. I would buy that just to put my ratchet in there. <laughs> but why would you put ratchet in there? He was never in the He's in there in the picture. They, yeah, but he was sure. never, but he Look, was they never have him in the, in the picture. It's now canon for me. He carries around <laughs> ratchet in his trailer for when he gets hurt. <laughs> Maybe that it would have made more sense if they put an iron hide in there because we could say that's what he did with the corpse. Prime hauled it oh, off. But the see, the iron hide oh my not, god. That the iron hide molds are so much smaller. Well, not correct? the first one from the first movie. Uh, the 07 movie Iron Hide is bigger. I don't have that one. Well, I think it looks, I think it looks pretty cool because it's like. You got this big like, Humvee um, in your trailer. <laughs> Neon I think I think this thing is pretty cool because it's uh it's very it's cool that it's it's I mean long flat trailer and then it balloons up into this thing, so they were able to take all that plastic and make it do something that, that no trailer has ever done before. It's I mean they're usually right. solid pieces for the trailers. Totally going where so, no trailer has gone before. Exactly, but I th I think that's pretty cool. Um. I personally won't buy it, but I think it's a I think it's a really neat feat of engineering that a third party company is able to do this. Now granted, as far as we know, like this is a this is a new third party company, so they're throwing this out. I don't know who's doing it. Um it doesn't it doesn't look like yeah, there's the, anybody That's the, the and that, that's really the say. weirdest thing is it's just no, the story doesn't say at all. So it's like it, it's cool that this is the very first thing that they're that they're shooting out. Granted, it's it's to the third party market it's kind of weird because you can't you don't really have anything to go off of like usually when a third party company throws a toy out they usually throw like you know a toy out instead of like an accessory pack so you can you can compare it between the two between like say Mocha toys and um and uh, masterpiece you can compare the two or mastermind creations rather you can compare the two of them um, side by side, figure out which one's better, which one's more to your taste. But these guys looks like they're just doing this accessory, so it's hard to tell, and especially with no name on it, exactly who they are, what they're doing, or, or who they're affiliated with. But right. for, for them to throw out this just as an accessory pack, I think that's pretty cool. I, yeah. I well, granted, I won't, I won't funny. get it myself. Yeah. I'm not that big of a fan of Optimus. I won't get it myself. But it's really, it's cool to see a third party company jumping immediately for an accessory pack. Well, Fans Project, that's how they got their start. The City Commander trailer was an accessory pack for the classic Sword of Magnus. Um, and that was kind of like the first big third-party item that came out. Uh, it was an accessory pack. Um, and I'm not like you. I, I think this is really cool looking. I really like the engineering. Um, I think what scares me, though, is the price, because it's going to be quite large. 
Mm-hmm. I don't and, doubt it. I don't doubt and, it for that. And with third-party limited production stuff, it tends to be more expensive than what if than if Hasbro were releasing it, uh, just because they produce less. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it's cool enough, and I would buy it if the price were low enough. But I don't know. It's probably going to be so expensive that I just can't justify it. Not with mm-hmm. all the other third-party stuff. I'd much rather have like Computron. Um, I think that's. See. I think that's honestly one of my favorite things. Is in one of the pictures we got uh, Ratchet squeezing inside it. For it to make for it to make that big of an impression when it's all stood up and you know in its gigantic ring, red and it's I almost called it a red, red ring of ring death. Of death. <laughs> Thank you, Xbox. <laughs> in its gigantic ring, you know, form. I think that's pretty cool that it's got still space inside, so you can use it as an actual trailer. Mm-hmm. I think that's one of my favorite parts about it. Okay, if this thing ends up not coming out, I'm officially going to Photoshop that picture and put the little lights on it like the red ring of death. <laughs> Killed the project. Oh, sad. hopefully I don't oh. have to do that Photoshop because I mean I hope this thing comes out at a reasonable price. But it's a lot so of too. It's a lot of plastic for a third party it, item. It is ambitious for I think a first project for anybody. Unless it's not a first project, maybe it's some company that is out there. I mean, I mean, and con- I mean, and considering we're talking about a leader class toy here, mm-hmm. so this thing's big. So, even, know, just as, just, even just as a trailer, it's huge. Mm-hmm. So maybe whoever's making it just hasn't put their name on it yet. They haven't laid claim to it. I'm I'm hoping we get a name for this soon, but it, it's really cool. I I would definitely like to give props to whoever's doing this. Yes, it does look very nice. All right. So uh, anybody have any more comments on the trailer? It looks pretty. It's a trailer. It's a box. It's a box, of it's a box that turns into a circle. Wow! It's a square that turns blown. into a circle. It's a rectangle that turn, turns into an oval. It's magic. I don't think it's perfectly round, is it? It's more like it's an oblong shape. Or I don't octagon. know. Octagon. It's not an, oct- not an octagon. Cause it's got more than eight sides. Deck. Decagonal. Ten. Has it got ten sides? Now I have to count. Damn you, people. <laughs> And and see that's a lot more than you get in video games. Usually round things only have six sides in video games. Just it's, to put it's that in perspective. It has twelve sides. Twelve sided. What in the world do you call a twelve sided? That's got twice as many polygons than a normal know, round object in a video game. I only it know, does. I only know up to ten to be a decagon. I don't know what you call eleven or twelve. Well it was been showing D dice and then I dropped them. So I don't know. Decagon plus two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll move on then. Uh, one more, we got two more news stories. Uh, one more upbeat An one. Ending. We have Gizmodo. Uh, I guess they did a uh, series of videos how Transformers are made, kind of like a behind the scenes in Hasbro. Uh, who would like to cover this story? Anybody, anybody here watched all three and maybe read the articles that accompany them? Okay, what about just watch the videos? Anybody watch all three videos? Because I only watched I, I, one. I, wa- I watched them all, but I'm trying to remember them. I just remember they were just neat. Seeing the development. I just thought they were cool. Yeah, the one I saw, they were in the office of the guy who like paints all the toys that, that, was the same uh, that they take pictures of to put on the boxes. Uh, he had a Metroplex sitting on his desk that they didn't even call any attention to. It was just there. Um, that was just being big. And then they had, uh, I thought another interesting part was when they showed the guy who did the CAD renders. Uh, and then they would show the 3D printer how they print the parts out, like I guess for testing. Um but the guy was showing the CAD, and he was even said, "Hey, yeah, we use a program called SolidWorks, which I found really. I kind of was amused by that because that's the program I use." Uh, I was like, "Yay, they use the same thing as me. I'm using the same thing Hasbro uses." Professional. Professional grade. You can but, say that uh, now. Put that on your packaging. <laughs> Professional grade. All right. So, um, anybody have any thoughts on these videos? Anything stand out in the videos you watched that uh, you? I guard you said it's fascinating. What was the most fascinating part that jumped out as well? I can't believe they do it that way. It was just the videos in general because it's just neat seeing that part of the development cycle that we usually don't get to hear much about it because just talking about how the how the production goes into making the hard copy toy, which becomes the figure, and how much just variations they make. Because overall, it's just interesting. I can't think of one particular thing offhand though. 
you know, I'm kind of surprised that they would even do a video like this because usually isn't that stuff a lot like trade secrets and things they don't yeah. want to reveal, don't want anybody Maybe people. Maybe they're trying to get some of that bad rap after uh, that whole, all of the China stuff and the factory thing. That was not bad rap. That was one website being stupid. Well, we don't know that they don't think that it's something bigger. Hasbro's already come out and said that's complete garbage. They but might have. Yeah. They might. They might feel like it's actually affecting them, though. I don't well, think I, think, so. I think what I would worry about, though, is the fact that they could, you know, somebody at Mattel could watch the video and be like, "Oh, that's how they do that. We got to do Mattel that." Mattel can barely run a website. They can't do shit. <laughs> 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 Maybe that's why they're not concerned. You know, Maddie Collector. Yeah. Yeah, their stuff sells out really fast on Maddie Collector, but at least the website doesn't crash like the, you it know, used to. Like the club. Now it, now it's hell to get stuff in a timely manner for Manny Collector. Manny Collector in general is just retarded. I could rant on Mattel for hours, but I shall not. Let's save that for another podcast. We only yes. rant about Hasbro here. Um, well, we can rag there's on Aaron on. There's not much to rant about when it comes to Hasbro, because Hasbro doesn't do anything really stupid. Well, except yeah. You never have the toys in their online store. Talk well, amongst yourselves for a moment. I have to run and grab something. Their online store is not ran by them. It's a third-party group that sells toys for Hasbro. It has their name on it. They need to make sure that it's done properly. They haven't had an actual online store since early, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, the original Hasbro Toy Shop used to sell things directly from Hasbro and even had some imports like Delio Convoy specifically sold through Hasbro Toy Shop. But they don't do that anymore. And overall, it's just... Are you still ragging on Maddie Collector? No, I'm talking about Hasbro Toy Shop. He's oh. learning me. Learning you or educating you? He's learning me. Does anybody I'm recognize that noise? How... What? So did anybody recognize that noise I just accidentally set off? What I noise? didn't hear it. No, I figured my mic would pick that up for sure. There's a really faint, like, Wait, speaking. Wait, does that Cybertron Scourge? No. I heard as soon as I get it transformed, I'm going to show it on camera. I had to run to the other room since I forgot about it. You're going to ask my wallet. Oh, it's Prime. It's the fat Optimus Prime. He has eaten a few too many Doritos. Like, oh, my goodness. Fatty. Like, I've been this entire freaking podcast. Which I, I know most people say the joke is worn out. I get tired of hearing it, but I'm sorry. I never get tired of making the fat jokes with this toy. It's just, he's huge. Look at him. I mean, he... You'd think he was the police officer, Optimus Prime, who ate too many donuts. <laughs> he's Officer Carl Winslow. I like the fact, like, I like the fact that it's like, it's like his his torso is big, which is great, but his legs like aren't thin either. I think that's my favorite thing is that like his legs are. Yeah, his his thighs are fat to to comp complement his fat body. <laughs> Like, I can't get enough of that toy. I love it. <laughs> well, it's actually proportionate once you put on the limbs, the little drones he comes with. Mm -hmm. But without them, he just, he looks like, you know. <laughs> like he put on a sumo it. suit. <laughs> this is a cool figure. So anyway, I had to show that. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> no more thoughts about the Gizmodo, uh, how Transformers are made videos. No, it's just Not me. really, no. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll move on to our last story. This is the one that's kind of sad. Um, but it's reality. You know, the only thing that's inescapable is death and taxes. And I guess as we get older, you know, we a cartoon we watched as kids had voice actors who were adults, and so they're even older than us. Uh, we lost one of our voice actors, uh, Philip Clark, uh, who had voiced. I know he voiced Dead End in the Generation One, probably the most famous role. Well, I may not the most, the most prominent that he did the voices the most of. Um, he also did a few others. He did Augie Kahe, uh, Kane, uh, who was in the Trans-Europe Express episode. He was the the guy, the, the human that had the car. Car bomb. Uh, he also voiced Tantrum. And probably the most famous, you know, not, not the one he did the most often, but the most famous role he did was uh, <laughs> the Supreme Military Commander, President for Life, and King of Kings of the Socialist Democratic Federated Republic of Carbomia, yes. Abdul Fakidi. <laughs> So yeah, he was the uh, the, the ruler of Carbomia, oh, um, which he's probably the most well known for. And um, so he has passed away. I'm not. Do you mind uh, getting information about how how old was he when he passed? Uh, let's see what it says. I didn't see that in the news story. 
it is. Let me see. Uh, it's probably on his wiki by now. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably on his wiki by now. Or his um, IMDb page. Yeah. None say his age. Apparently, or he was him. infinite. Nobody <laughs> knew how old he, he has was. No beginning, and no, no, no beginning and no end. Uh, 53. Oh, oh well, wow. he's relatively young. Oh, no, wait. I was gonna guess. That's, like, a, <laughs> that's a chef. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on, that's a chef. If, that's a chef in the UK. <laughs> Some other guy. Yeah, that's. That's someone not else. Not what I'm looking for. Some other. He, said he was in the business for four, over forty years. So that's a rough guess. Uh, Philip L. Clark. There we go. 2013. Oh, it's it's just a small page. Bummer. Wow, he did a lot of roles. Oliver Twist, uh, Scooby Doo, The Smurfs, Spider Man. I think he just a lot did a of lot little of... roles. He, yeah, he did a lot of little things. Yeah, he was only Go-bots. like an episode or two of most things. Mhm. Mm Zeta Prime from Transformers 2. G.I. Joe, Chipmunks, Ducktales, Super Mario Brothers. Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. So he did some Disney stuff too. Oh, he was in the GoBots movie, War of the Rock. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Who Battle was of the Rock Lords. Uh, Hair Fiend, Crackbot, Torque. Uh, Crackbot. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't recognize the name of that GoBot. I don't either. <laughs> that name I recognize. Twenty fifth uh, of April, twenty thirteen. Doesn't have his birthday. Know. On his I still don't know when his birthday. Nobody <laughs> knows when he was born. Why? Why doesn't? Yeah. I am. Huh. Yeah, as this is bothering me now. I don't know when. I don't know how old Nobody he. Is. I don't know how old he was. I don't know when his birthday is. Voice you know, actor the voice profile. There we go. The only thing I can his find voice chaser. Yeah, twenty fourth of April, twenty thirteen. But he did know. There's no birth date on here. I somebody I'm sure is just screaming at us right now. Oh well. I'm I'm they almost positive that no one on someone YouTube is knows. someone is screaming at us right now, and I don't know. Yeah. No, okay. This is really bothering me. Not even his TF Wiki's got it. <laughs> yep. It's not. No one has it. He was never born. He was he never just, born. He just he he's one, everlasting. <laughs> well, he, he, he just disappeared. Those... People just think he's gone. Well, you know how like you'll have the woman who stays twenty nine for like ten years. <laughs> maybe he was maybe he was like that. And when we were asking how old he was, he would say the same number every year, so he had to hide his birthday so nobody would know the truth. <laughs> you know, he was always you know. They have his date of birth or death everywhere, but nothing. Yeah, his, birth. his date of death is everywhere, but not the date of birth. Oh well. So the man has passed on to the other side, and we're sitting here getting hung up over when was his birthday. <laughs> I know. It's, I feel <laughs> bad because it's like all we're it's this like point. it's like all we're hung up on is oh my god when was he born? How old was he? I want to know how much longer I've got to live. I'm scared <laughs> about my own mortality. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of an episode of Frasier where he uh, saw a man the same age died, and he saw an obituary, and he freaked out. Found out the guy ate healthier, exercised all the time. He's like, "Why is he dead?" And I'm not. But yeah. I guess oh dear. I guess you guys are too young to remember Frasier. No, I remember mm, it. I remember it. I didn't watch it, but I remembered it. Oh, okay. See, I'm the one who actually remembers the episode. But yes, the uh, episodes now. No. Nope. Actual remembering that it existed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, does anybody else have any thoughts? On any news, uh, we've run through our entire list of stories. We spent a long. We have a lot, a lot of stuff done. Okay. Mm, I, just I don't think I have anything else to come to. And Springer. All right. Well, we will, without our beloved host Weird Wolf here, again, our thoughts and prayers go out to him with everything he's been through and as he recovers. Um, just like to ask the listeners to be patient with the rest of us as we try to muddle through without him. Uh, things go we're much like more smoothly because I think he always did a little more preparation work, so things went a little more smoothly when he was here. Uh, but we will do our best to muddle on, and hopefully uh, we'll still be entertaining, and the viewers slash listeners will still want to tune in. 
I guess if nobody has any more closing thoughts, I guess we'll just say our goodbyes. I am Insane Galvatron. We also have Natsume Wright. Ryu. you? I'm sorry. Uh, Guard Convoy. Goodbye, everybody. And Mirai Baby. Oh. And we will see you in a week or two, depending on how we can uh, work these schedules into our, uh, our, our normal everyday lives. Thanks for listening. <laughs>